Hello, 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 and welcome to another Rangaroo cast, me, Rangaroo, and today we are doing a 1v1 on Paddy Field. So, on the right hand side, in blue, playing as Uracle, we got Coffee, and on the left hand side, in red, playing as Entente, we got Praise Jesus. So, uh, well, good luck, Coffee, you are going to need it. As we get things rolling. And, uh, yeah, off we go. Off we go. And nothing really too fancy. No helicopter rust, thank God. Both sides are mainly a ground force. We do have a Moderna over here from Praise Jesus, which will definitely help out. And some Strop 2s as well. That's interesting using the Strop 2s instead of the, uh, the crazy Yugoslav AA. And we've got a Pram already firing. Gonna be smoking out so the infantry can get in safely. And an AMX-10 trying to hit the Moderna. Yo, ain't exactly in a rare call to rail. And for Coffee, he is trying to attack up top in the Foxtrot with his infantry. But he's been caught out in the open. And there are pedal brankies here. And soon to be that M84AN. There's no real tanks. No, no, actually, never mind. It's a goddamn clerk. So... Well, if it can get line of sight on the M84, good luck. They can definitely, he can definitely kill it. You know, he is smoking his own tank and infantry. And we are smoking infantry good, but blocking that line of sight for little clerk ain't gonna help it, because now would be the perfect time to shoot. SU-25K goes in, kills the Crotow. The clerk is still alive, actually the smoke saving the vehicle. And as the infantry, the SU's move up. And down bottom, yeah, Brace is just pretty much says Bravo under his control about to having to contest anything. And he also has the forest in Gulf under his control too. So he definitely has quite a good map advantage right now. Your coffee is still pushing hard up top. Keeping the clerk back, fearful of the Brumba. Got some HE mortars landing, trying to hit the infantry. Next one. Damn it, I was just missing just barely. As coffee brings up some chasseurs and Bravo, nothing really too crazy there. Yeah. And Moderna getting some good shiny shots on enemy reinforcements. Damn, this is looking pretty good for Coffee. He's man's a person to Foxtrot, which is rather good. You know, to really make his work, he needs to clear out the enemy forces in Gulf. Which will be rather hard to do, seeing there's gonna be not one, but two Modernas in here. Which is how well, it's a lot about numbered at the clerk, so he's gonna need some extra firepower to deal with those tanks. I'm going to speed things up a bit more. Got some far flanking of some infantry and recon. Panzer mortars. Mortar in the infantry. And Moderna's just going back and forth. Getting a few shots and then relocating. It's such a smart thing to do. You don't want them to stay in one spot for too long. And now Bracius is already setting up a defensive line of Fox drops on drugs. The AN back in manages to follow, which is very good on him. Here comes that second Moderna. And we do not smoke onto the ATGM infantry. Oh, they're still going to get a few shots in if you know, they do miss. That's to admit, holy moly! <laughs> oh, wow! Oh, wow. That was... That was a good flank. Jesus Christ. I, I didn't even see that coming. I mean, that does... Yeah, 16 AP from the side. That was only like, you know, yeah. Just over 1.5 kilometers, I want to say. So, yeah, that, that was a side shot, right? Yeah, damn good side shot. That definitely helped uh, Coffee even out the odds there. Damn. <laughs> really good move. 
In Milan there, free, trying to get another shot in. No misses because the Moderna does go back and hide. I'm not entirely sure, can he only get two Modernas in an Anton deck? I, I want to say so. Maybe three. I'm having a feeling it might be three. Because they are just uh, a standard recruit. And we got the KWS flying around. Sun Theus Interceptor being used quite a bit more often. It is a pretty damn good Interceptor. I mean, it has, it has a minigun, it has AMRAMs and aim missiles. Definitely all you need for a good blue form air to air plane. Problem is, is Jack Ghost is still not under Coffee's control. And he is trying to remedy that solution with some chatchers attacking through, taking out special Genotkis. And a VTT is also coming in to help. And we got smoke trying to smoke out the Moderna. I think it's going to be in Coffee's best interest to try to remove or relocate yeah, the clerk. Oh, oh, it's Moderna being out in the open. Going to be exposed to some ATGM fires. And those Milan F3s, they do not muck about. If I can actually pull up. Yeah. 26 AP damage. Probably one of the best infantry ATGMs in game. That's a long range infantry ATGM. We got a second the clerk here to definitely help out. I'm thinking it might be best if he does a two pronged assault, one down top or one up, up top, and run along the side here, try to completely encircle the place. Because oh, we got a second one down there. There we go. So he is going to need that the clerk to even out the odds. And the Madonna's are doing a rolling retreat. I know this would be a really good idea for Bray Jesus. So there we go. Move up the paddles because he could get a Bromba shot on him. And the Tornado IDS does manage to get out of there. KWS coming in. Going for the Super Galeb. Another good kill. Knocking out your super glabs is very bloody important because they are they're very nasty to go up against. We only mean there's one super glab left. Yeah, it's one of the main threats to the Leclerc. He always managed to pull it back. Both sides being rather cautious with their super heavy tanks, and rightfully so, because on a 1v1, it's pretty hard to buy new ones. And the Paddos doing their best to kill the Fuchs, but Fuchs now they can't they can't kill it. And the <laughs> the Fuchs man to kills run. The Paddos trying to hit the AMX VTT and once again they miss. Damn, that, that, that was a bit embarrassing, I have to say. And Coffee is doing a good job pushing keeping on the pressure. We've got some more chasseurs being brought up top. And Mortar's trying to clear out the forest. And it is pretty damn clear now. We only got one squad of Paddos in there. The two Modernas are still the main threat. And I don't know why he moved up as never. It's completely out of ammunition. I mean, all it can do is really rave at the enemy. And I just want to say again, both sides have been using Mortars phenomenally. Like, on point, this is... Really good mortar play right here. Take notes. How are they using the smoke? How are they using to keep constant suppression? Constantly firing as much as you can. This is pretty damn good, I have to say. And using it mainly just to keep your super heavy tanks alive. Which is damn important. Here we got shatters moving across the open. I don't think it's going to work too well in the Madonna's in position and also the Paddles in the forest. We've got Prams from Jesus doing the smoke once again, trying to block the Melange. 
And Tornado dropping in bombs. Gets some good hits on the Modernas right here. And the Super Retinard going in with the Seed. I think I was Seed. No, it was ATGM, my bad. And we got the L19 keeping the skies clear. So double check something. Yeah, 1995. And we're essentially looking pretty good for coffee. I know I was saying that not holding Goth was really hurting him, but he's doing a good job keeping this oppression on the area. It does seem like Priest Jesus is doing an attack with his Modernas. There we go, pulling back a Milan F3, keeping him alive for now at least. And the M84, getting a few shots in. And the OT doing some suicide scouting. And Bravo is still under Priest Jesus' control. Nothing really too crazy down here. Yeah, I'm thinking he has lost both the clerks, it seems, Rich. Oh no, he runs back in, never mind. Was this a new one? I, I'm not entirely sure. I've kind of lost track. I'm not going to lie. You know, tornadoes coming in, dropping in the bombs, but. Yeah, never will not be enough. And really got the kill, yeah, here we go. Yeah, we go. Like I said, he's just doing a good job suppressing his forest. Yeah, I'm rather curious. This match is about to end in two minutes and it can still kill anyone, Dre. Not much ground has been changed. We got a CV in the brother now, which is going to be praise East the plus run, but Coffee could easily just counter by getting a CV in Goof and Fox Shots, which would give him the plus run then. And oh, heck, put one in Bravo too. I also help as well. If you can get a CV in all three of these sectors, you'd be at plus two point advantage. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really curious who wins. Because the Moderna's in the forest, but they're a bit scared to move out because of that Milan squad. And now we got Power Shakers and Legions attacking into the Bravo sector. And they're doing a pretty decent job. I mean, Legions do beat Mechanovas. You know, it is quite a lot of Mechanovas in here, and he may want to move the rest of the Shashwoos to help. But there's only 30 seconds or so left of the match, so let's see what happens. We've got more bombing strikes into the forest. And, uh, yeah, Coffee does take the victory. And damn, that is, considering it only ran on for 20 minutes, that is a rather huge loss there for Praise Jesus in terms of kills. That's roughly half, I want to say. But, yeah, Coffee did a pretty damn good job. The thing about Praise Jesus is that all these units were in very predictable locations just due to the map design. They're all located in that forest. So, Coffee... Anytime Praise Jesus try to poke out, he'd either A, get shot at by ATGMs, or if the force was actually scary, Coffee would just smoke it up so they couldn't actually shoot at his units. And then he just keeps it contained, attacking the hotel and holding that hotel for us. Definitely helped him quite a lot in keeping that under his control. If Praise Jesus, maybe his best idea was to not focus too much on Goth, but do his best to recapture Hotel, and then from the attack into Goth from the top hand side, instead of trying to attack through the forest area. But yeah, very good match from both sides, and once again, really good mortar play, fantastic mortar play. And I'm going to leave it off, yeah, this has been another Rangaroo cast, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as usual, please just take it easy.